Ah, what's up, everybody? How's it going? Did this work? Okay, so tell me right now. How is the audio? Are we too loud? Are we too quiet? Is everything okay? Copy, copy, testing, testing, one, two, one, two. This is a casting couch. It was definitely some questionable materials on the couch. Oh, the, mics, dog the mics are too loud. The mics are too loud. Let me turn this down a little bit. Yeah, the room will probably cause a little bit of an echo, but it won't, it won't be that bad. So, okay now, everything's fine. No echo, everything's good. No static, everything's okay. Copy, copy, testing, testing. Oh, they're talking about reverb, yeah. It's the room. Yeah, so this is a, a test run. Grab his arm, Steve, you fucking stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Grab his arm, Steve, got a coach. You motherfuckers. Okay, so do you want to tell them what the song is from? Because I think a lot of people probably don't know. So, I saw what you said, Range, and I'm glad that you guys actually listened to the song because that is from the Korean version of Guilty Gear hashtag reload that's where that song is from not only is it from the korean version but it is uh, zappa's theme called seizures and if you guys do not know dice k did not do the music for guilty gear uh korean version not reload the korean version it was outsourced and it was done by a band led by uh, a woman it's actually godlike i actually have shout out to my boy scott i actually still have the cd pack that comes with the Korean version of the game. And it had brand new art as well. It had brand new art. It had the, the Frankenstein uh, Robocop picture. It actually looks ridiculous. But that song is called Seizures. It's Zappa's theme. If you have not listened to the Korean soundtrack for Guilty Gear, hashtag reload, post me your favorite songs on Twitter. I would love to hear it because it'll just give me a reason to listen to all those songs. But anyways, there you go. Do you know the name of the band who did I it? I cannot remember off the top of my head. I can't remember the name of the band. I, I can't believe you know more about the Guilty Gear Korean soundtrack than I know about anything in my life. I'm just saying, bro, you gotta, you have to. And, and it's not close. Like What Great Empress, I literally just even said, that was a song, that's Amelia's theme. It's actually sick. Damn. It's actually sick. So people actually know. Okay, well, welcome to the very first podcast that I'm ever doing. This is episode zero. I'm calling it episode Damn. zero. Because we, nothing is finalized. It's probably the only podcast I'll do in person. Cool. Because the rest of the I time, special. I, yeah, I'll probably just call and stuff. So it's episode zero of the podcast. And I was like, who the fuck can I get for episode zero of, uh, you know, as a guest who makes sense? Uh, and I thought to myself, well, I should probably just ask my friend here, Steve, since he's in town. And uh, it would be a good one to do. So this is episode zero. We have no overlays. It's in person. We're going in raw, baby. Yeah, there's nothing fancy. Zero things about this are good. But because of the recent Guilty Gear Strive, I figured that this would be a good time to sit down and talk about it. And I want you guys to know, chat room, I have not asked Steve about Guilty Gear at all. We haven't talked about the game nothing. at all. So everything nothing. you're about to hear, I have not asked him anything about it. I don't know anything about the game. I have not tried it myself. I was at North over the weekend. North. For North America. The North America Regional Which Fun. is God like. I actually just finished. Well, I watched it twice just to be sure that I was twice? paying attention. Yeah, I fell asleep watching it once because yeah. it was super late and I just got back. But I went back and watched it all over. That was me trying to watch Guilty Gear actually. Mm -hmm. I was in bed on Saturday trying to watch Top 32 of everything and then like everything was cutting off and shit and I was like, man, I don't know what the hell is happening. I didn't get to see this at all. So, uh, the very first thing to talk about today, you got to play Guilty Gear Strive. Strive. They announced it. I saw Ryan's arm getting shaken oh, yeah. by you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Ryan. I got excited. You knew what you were getting into. We talked about that beforehand. They was like, you're going to stay in that. They literally, I, they literally said, you're going to stay in that close. They're like, yeah. are you crazy? They actually told him. And Ryan was like, oh, that's okay. I was like, oh, okay. Well, whatever. That means he wanted me to grab him. That's basically like, don't feed the bears. When you see the sign, yeah. it's like, don't stand next to me in the trailers. It's the same goddamn thing. Don't feed the animals. They'll jump on it. Don't tell, they like poke on the glass or anything like that. They try to tell you, like, hoo, 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 and then it fucking roars. <laughs> oh, God. It's like, my leg. And then that's over. From the pit. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a chance to play it. Um, it was announced, the title of it is Strive and everything like that. A lot of people on Twitter were like real mad and then some people were real happy. I, when I saw the initial changes and stuff, mm -hmm. I was not super happy. And then I sat down and tried to think about some of the, the choices and why right. they did it and stuff. And I was like, okay, let me see and justify it. And my final big thing has been like, I have no idea if it's good or bad until I play it. 
Exactly. I don't know. Like, it's hard for me to say. So you have played it. Yeah. You were in the VIP room. Yeah, I was in the Mr. VIP. VIP room. From what I was told, you didn't even have a badge. And I quote, Tasty Steve's VIP badge is his face. <laughs> now, that did not work. And here's the story to tell you otherwise, right? So I go, uh, I legit, so I show up for Arc Revo. And yeah. I don't have to commentate till later. And right? I'm like, I ain't got to commentate later. I'll go play some Guilty Gear Strive or 2020 before, you know, yeah. the real deal. So I was like, all right, cool. And he's like, yo, you got a staff shirt. I got my nice little blue yeah, art yeah, system yeah, work yeah. shirt. Now I'm like, I was going over with a shirt over my shoulder. None the wiser. Boom, I put the shirt over my shoulder, walk in and do this, do it you like, put yo, the shirt over I your threw shoulder. it over my shoulder. I mean, like, what, you want me to put it on just to walk in the room? Come on, man. Anyways, so I see the dude, the dude is like, yo, you take Steve. I'm like, that's me. Boom, walk in. Stand there and I'm like, oh man, Guilty Gear. Now they have, what, four setups. Four setups. People uh -huh. weren't even playing some of them. Yeah. Most of the time, people weren't playing them, but they were there sitting in all their glory. Dice case sitting right over there. Maury sitting right over there. Oh, I'm like, oh, oh. And then this guy gets up. He gets up, he walks over to me, and he's like, and I was like, I see this guy because I introduced him at Steam on yes. the stage. And you were the guy on stage who said, and introducing to the stage from Arc System Works when right. I did the announcement. So it is the same guy. He walks over and I'm like, oh, he's about to say hello because it's been like a month and I, de I definitely just saw this guy. And I'm like, hey, all excited. He's like, yo, man, you actually got to leave. You don't have a VIP badge. Boom. That was my first interaction with Guilty Gear. So. <laughs> You introduced him to the stage, and he was like, hey, bro, I don't know you. That's what happened. Like, I was legit also like, damn, I thought, okay, all right, I guess I didn't leave a lasting impression. But, right, smoked. Hard body smoked. And I'm legit, like, mad. I'm like, you want, and he legit, they tell me I got to leave. They legit, so they, they kicked were, you out? They, they kicked Stacey Steve They kicked me out? out of the VIP room. Dice K didn't save me. He didn't know who I was. He had a new haircut. He probably didn't recognize me. You know what I'm saying? It happens. I got dreads now. That's all that happened. But I go back, talk to the lady at the front, I get my badge and I come yeah. back yeah, yeah, yeah. and I indulge. I not only indulge, I feast my eyes, hands, face, my ears on Guilty Gear Strive yeah. for three hours, no less. That's pretty three solid. Three hours. I actually got a lot of footage too. I taped it on my phone because I ain't got no fancy, smancy, you know, computer. Why don't you bring a capture card or something? Because I'm an idiot and I was just so happy to play Guilty Gear that all those things leave a mindset. Yeah. Yeah. You know I'm excited, but you know I get shit all the time. You know what's funny about that is when I was setting this up, I couldn't get something right. And I was like, Steve, I'm so stupid. I don't know <laughs> how to do this. So when your answer was, I'm an idiot. It's just such a, like, I don't know why I didn't look, think about this. It makes sense, bro, you know? Um, yeah. But so you got your hands on it. Yeah, so I, I will say, well, first off, let me say this in two parts, right? Okay, so part one. Initially, when I saw what... Uh, I saw Guilty Gear, I saw it, and I was like, oh my god, that's beautiful. Obviously, we saw it at Evo, that yeah. was everybody's first time, well, my, my first time seeing it. I cried the whole night, I had to, right? Because it was beautiful. You see the gameplay, and obviously there's things missing. There's yeah. definitely things missing from it, but, side note, I remember playing and waiting for the new Guilty Gears back in the day. They would do low tests in arcades where they wouldn't let you do a lot of the things that will ultimately end the final version of the I game. I see. So when they showed this version of the game, and they're like, oh, this is Guilty Gear 2020, I was like, all right, I see that this is a demo, and definitely yeah. they left a lot of things out. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's see where it goes, right? Now, most noticeably, like, uh, the things that are missing are Gatling combos, right? Yeah, the Gatlings are definitely really weird. Um, they're definitely weird, but the thing is, they're not actually gone. They're kind of just short. Yeah. Um, they like certain characters. They have like stuff where it's basically overall system changes. Is like you can combo into a special normal. Yeah. So like if you do two P or two K with Soul, you can yeah. combo in the six P. Now you can't right. do punch kick slash anymore. Yes, I was gonna say it's like okay instead of being able to go like punch kick slash hard slash like dust or whatever, right? It's like okay you got to do like this button into this. Yeah. This is like your routes. Boom boom. <laughs> it's two hits, right? Boom boom. That's what everybody was saying is one of the big changes about it so far. So what did you think about that? I personally like when I heard and like saw that there was no gatherings, I was like. Then how the hell am I supposed to like what what is your pressure look like in this yeah. game? Like and like I said, I've been playing Guilty Gear literally since Guilty Gear. Yeah. So it's like I've stuck with all the changes no matter what, but I didn't really understand it. Yeah. But after I played the demo, you kinda put that to rest. Like uh. I was able I, I once you get hands on, you see that the combo system is really all not that foreign. Um it is I feel like simplified overall. Yeah. Because the combos kinda boil down to 
uh, uh, normal, cancel into special normal, cancel into probably special move, yeah. um, and then you RC yeah. into another special move and you get a small combo. From yeah, instead round. of doing like something that knocks you up and then RC and then like air combo, like jump slash, double jump into this and abandon, like you're just like, okay, well, grounded move, boom, boom, like something into the corner. Right. right, that's basically really what it is, and like, uh, yeah. like don't get me wrong, most of my time was spent playing Chip because he's a ninja. Surprise, surprise. But like, uh, when I did, like, I went for him because I was like, I'm the most familiar with Chip. This is the character. If I'm yeah. gonna figure out anything, it's gonna be Chip. So once I started playing, it was actually pretty sick. Yeah. Like, what was it like to play Chip where people could hit Alpha Blade and no teleport? It's it's really not like like if you're only on the rev side of things, mm -hmm. when you're like teleport YRC, teleport YRC is crazy, yeah. right? That's the only time it's really jarring. Like other than that, it's really not that bad because like what ends up happening is like you still have the mobility over anybody. Um, you yeah. can't faultless defense cancel. Um, and I feel like there's some kind of janky way to stop yourself to, to faultless defense cancel, but yeah. But overall, it still feels like a fast ninja character. It still feels like Chip. He still has Shuriken. Um, he doesn't have Find Me outside of it being a taunt. Yeah. But he has this thing where he can use Alpha Blade or Gamma. I can't remember the name of the one. But he goes like this, right? The, yeah. Across the screen. But now we can go up at angles. Yeah. And the combo now is literally like if you start off the kick, it goes up and then at an angle. If you do punch, it I goes think I saw that. That yeah. right? You can do crazy stuff with that. That that aspect alone from that game, I was like. Okay, this is Guilty Gear because yeah. there's no other there is no other game that I've ever played that I played for three hours and I was like, let me see what this character can do <laughs> and play and I was like, damn that. But by the time like I had we were all in the circle like this shit is gonna be crazy. If if Chip is the example, god damn it, I can't wait to play it. I'm not even joking. That's not an exaggeration. Nobody's paying me to say anything. But I will say it feels super strange. Yeah. Strange. It definitely looks strange to watch. Like even the movement, it looks like Guilty Gear, but then when you watch people pressure and when you watch them do stuff, it's so strange to watch them do like 2P, 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 and then like the Gatling, and then like uh, at the combo is like ground combo, and then like they get hit in the air and they just go and they yeah. like tech way away. It's so strange looking. It's so it's so weird. And then like the throws now, like having start up, you can kind of yeah. like it, you can definitely feel the difference. But it's super seamless, and it, it kind of feels like Blaze Blue, especially when you do sure. like the throws in the air. Like it has an animation. Um, still super intuitive though. Like at first, like it kind of threw me off because I'm like, man, I'm trying to throw. Yeah. But it kind of eliminates. You know how sometimes you get close, you get standing hard slash completely eliminates that Yeah, problem. it eliminates the one frame throw and then you just you walk up and you're like, wow, he did point blank 6H on his wake up? That was weird. And you're like, oh wait. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I know what happened. And they're still really fast, right? I heard that People say that the frame, the throws went from one frame to two frames. Yeah, it's really, just like two frames. It's throw. like, like you're, yeah. you, you, you're still going to get scooped. Yeah. Um, as far as like the air combo thing, Chip like is an air combo character, and like Guilty Gear is known for like that. Yeah. The anime route is the up route. Everything else is like side by side. You go up a level. Guilty Gear, the anime route, you're going to the stars, baby. Daisuke knew what he was doing when they were making this game. But it's not there. <laughs> well, you, you sold it as the anime route is going to the heaven. And we're, we're in hell. This is we're at the bottom. It just feels so weird that like Chip like and I feel like I don't know how to explain it, but it's like it feels weird. Chip yeah. has three jumps. Yeah. Three jumps. Yeah. You mean but no air combo. But no air combo. But no air combo. Like really? Like yeah. really? Like yeah. oh. Anyways, and like that really kind of threw me off because I feel like certain characters have the have that as part of like their archetype, right? Yeah. Amelia is always in the air. Sure, the character yeah. like Dizzy, she has double air dashes. Like, what does that do to those characters overall? Like, what are you trying to say that this game is going to be? Are you saying that character is not going to be included? Yeah. Are you saying the system itself is just going to make for a completely different play style? Like... I think a lot of people think that about Milio or like Zato and they're like, how the hell are these characters gonna come back in this game, right? Like, Mil yeah. what is Milio gonna do in this game? Like, how, how is her combos gonna work? When she knocks you down, is she gonna run some kind of crazy messed up mix up or is she like, not that kind of character anymore. Like, who knows, right? I mean, well, Shige still made his presence known. Jury is actually just I million saw, now. I, saw. I was like, well, Shige, you sly son of a bitch. And I saw, like, the disc. I'm like, that's just million. He's like, he was, I'm out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he was like, oh, you're not going to put million in the game? Well, think twice. I'll fucking boom. Just put that shit in Street Fighter. 
But uh, yeah, like I was gonna say, it seems straight, very strange to see like those characters not do air combos. Yeah. Um, but what did you think about like in general using RC? Like, what did you think about that mechanic in general, and also how it felt to do just like grounded combo and then RC and then do whatever after? So oddly enough, like I said, the pressure like with the new system is definitely a little odd. But that's any game that you've yeah. never played before. You just got to change it up a little bit. Um, you still have things that. Um, that are kind of unexplored that nobody talked about and it came out later which is like the fast rc right mm -hmm. so keeping up pressure is you know you kind of want to go to a heavy block stun move rc and try to keep that pressure going and it's definitely still there but they have like this fast rc yeah i saw this and fast rc all you have to do is buffer in the move before the clock comes up mm -hmm. and rc has a hit now so once somebody rc's you see it that's the clock and then it lets you know, like, while it calms down, how bad the slowdown is. Right. And that's something that they didn't mention before, right? They said, Say like, anything hey, about it. this RC mechanic has some secret shit you guys don't know. Yeah. It's and then good. they, like, people found it out, like, during the test and stuff, right? They're like, oh, this is how this works. And the other thing I noticed, too, is that the way RC works is it's not like before where you would cancel the animation of some move or whatever and you would just stop and you'd be able to act. Like it's slightly different in the fact that it also it just slows everything down. Yeah, yeah. So it, like your move, it's like a it's like a game where you're playing as the Flash or something, mm -hmm. where you're really fast and then everything else in the world is really slow. So even when I saw like people pressure, they would run up, do something, RC, and then you could see someone like they try to throw it. It was like, yeah, and it would just like whiff. Or they try to two P. And it's like, yeah, it's sick. It's actually like cosmetically, it looks dope. Um, but it definitely opens up the gameplay a lot more. Yeah. Like, so a lot of times when people are like, hey man, you can't get these extra hits or you can't do that. And because you can't do like air combos, you have to think about that. Like you have to say, so, uh, what do you do now? You don't want the RC to hit because it pops them away. So yeah. then people would do things like this. Like I noticed that somebody did a wild throw quick RC and then did a special move mm. and it actually got an OTG property. What the hell? Exactly. So stuff like that is still able to be discovered in the game, but they also have momentum RCs. Mm -hmm. So once you RC while you're moving, you, they saw it in the second trailer that they showed at Arc Revo. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. You see they have like the kind of Doctor Strange effect. I was going to, I was like, oh, hit him with the Doctor, Doctor Strange because the body was moving separate. He was like, Kai was like doing like this yeah. and the other one was on the other side. Anyways. Um, but like if you do that, that actually lets you keep the momentum mm. from an RC. So if you do an air move, it actually keeps you in that same motion if you do a fast RC. I see. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you can keep pressure and it kind of gives you like an assault in uh, uni. In uni. Yeah. So. That's interesting. The other thing I was going to say is like if, if they're outside of the sphere when you RC, do they still slow down? I mean, you still just get the pause of RC. Yeah. If the RC doesn't hit, it doesn't, it doesn't go like slow the, the yeah. right? So okay. it's like, it's one of those things, right? Yeah. Like you still get the cancel. So it's actually like, and now that I'm talking to you about it, it seems a lot more intuitive, like yeah. I think about it, right? If you're not like getting the hit, it just gives you the RC cancel, right? Yeah. So you still get the typical RC, but if you do fast RC, you get the move buffer, and if not, you get the hit if it hits, and then the slow air happens. Yeah, what do you think about the corner situation with the walls? So like, uh, I thought that shit was whack. Uh, from first, like from I'm looking at it, I'm like, what the like? I thought it was dope if the way they worked it in was good, good right? Yeah. This is like hindsight wise. I'm looking at it and I'm like, yeah, the first the time you ever saw the wall break, I'm yeah, like, what the fuck is that, right? And I'm like, man, they got these transitions, like, what? And then I played, right? And I'm like, okay, so now I'm thinking about a person who's played Guilty Gear for you know, since I was 15, and I'm like, well, why would you put wall breaks there? Yeah, and I think it's to relieve like that the uh, pressure of not feeling like you have an option. Especially in a game like Guilty Gear. You're yeah. playing Guilty Gear, somebody knock you down in the corner. Sometimes like, well, it's over. Dur, 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 like you're done, right? But like in this game, like you actually break that wall. Yeah. But it makes for some of the sickest combos. Not the four fat You don't combo, like that one? But this combo, this is the combo I was doing. I would do like chip, I would hit you, I'd do like slash, uh, his new 2S is actually crazy. It's a lot more active, has mm -hmm. a lot more reach. You do Wrecker, Wrecker, RC, 6H, they hit the wall, I did zip, 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 break. And I was oh, like, oh shit. my, God. dude, it looks so sick. And then, depending on that break, you get stat boost. Yeah, so you can so you get a meter meter gain after you, you break the yeah, wall. Yeah, and I think I think like that's a I, I think that's a demo. If I could be wrong, I think that's a demo thing. You break the wall, they just give you half tension. Yeah, like right away they give you half. Tension. Yeah, they said that the point of it was you have increased tension after. So like almost every time I saw someone wall break, they immediately like 
uh, gain full tension. Like mm -hmm. not ha like they would have half and then it would grow up to like full tension within like five seconds of doing whatever. No, it, it's definitely it's true. It's super fat. Like you gain full super meter like instantly from it. And, and I, I think I'm just going to leave that to like the demo specs of the game. I, yeah. I don't think that's going to be something that sticks. But yeah, like once I found out, once everybody found out about the fast RC, people started doing crazy ass combos. I was watching like Zobbuster and like Octopimp do crazy ass wall breaking Potemkin combos. And like even still, like I was just applying things to them because I feel like every character they have like some kind of where the version that you're playing even in uh strive is kind of like based loosely off of a version that we see before mm -hmm. so i feel like this chip is more based off of like regular x chip without like teleports I see. even like the way he moves around and like the speed of the game is actually more of an xxp but it's still fast as hell yeah so it's like people are like oh man it looks slow i'm like bro y'all wasn't blocking chip and rev two you're not gonna block him in strive i'm sorry if, he, if, if, if it's meant to be played the same yeah. like like, you saying it slow won't take the anything away from it because you still ain't gonna be able to block. Yeah, I thought the movement looked like 90% guild to gear speed. Yeah. Like it, to me, it looked almost as fast as Rev 2. Yeah. But like when I watch people run and stuff, the run like fat. Like when I watch Soul run at Wild Throw, it looks like run into Wild Throw. Mm -hmm. When I watch like mm -hmm. ID out of the corner or something, it looks like ID out of the corner. Like the movement to me seems pretty similar in the speed that I would expect from Guilty Gear. And I imagine, like everybody, like everybody's like, oh, well, I don't know about this, this, this. Like, there will be a setup within like yeah. the first five minutes where you're like, wow, that's fucked up. Yeah, it's definitely like, so it's literally like one of those things, right? I don't know who who has played what game in the chat, but like this right. guy, this player used to be named Robot, right? And he was a Texas player. He was a soul player. Mm -hmm. He used to do this thing where he would knock you down, he'd sweep you, and he'd knock you down, and he'd run up, and he'd do FRC, gun flame mm -hmm. right but the it had come out beforehand so what he would do is he'd knock you down momentum sweep frc gun flame the gun flame will be past you yeah you wake up the block wild throw, wild throw yeah. it's it, it's literally just a part of like that's yeah. i feel like that's how they want you to use it but especially with it taking away so much damage so i was telling people i was like man like i feel like they've kind of like took taken like generational pieces of these characters and put them like throughout the game and they're yeah. using that as a kind of like the archetype for the that's character. something i heard a lot was people saying stuff like if you've only played rev 2 a lot of stuff in this game will seem foreign to you but like if you've played the old guilty gears people are like oh this reminds me of this guilty gear oh this reminds me of this guilty gear like i heard everybody saying that oh yeah soul, soul in this game is just like xx soul or something yeah, like that like everybody like kept saying that oh he's just xx soul and like a lot of people who are like rev players were like Man, what the hell is going on here? Like, what the fucking, this guy, Soul doesn't look like Rev 2 Soul at all, so. <laughs> no, like, that's, look, that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, it's definitely, I feel like it's more, like, a thing compromised of, like, a bunch of iterations of the different characters. Yeah. I mean, we still haven't seen them all. I mean, they just announced Faust. We don't know how he's going to play. Yeah. But, no, overall, like, the, the YRC, I mean, that's the YRC. The fast RC system makes for like a super deep game. You can still do crazy over the head mix ups. Like I'm still doing, I can still do an XX chip mix up yeah. because Rekka and Momentum uh, RC. So personally, like the, when it comes to the movement, when it comes to even like the wall break and what it right. does, like it fits so well in because you still, the game doesn't slow down. And when you, when there's a transition, it's literally like, like I did that combo, it was like, I hit you, uh, 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 zip, 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 break, go. And then yeah. literally, like the characters pick up and they go right back into it. So it's like, you still, the game doesn't miss a, like you're in the air, like, whoa, and I hit the ground. Like that's, a, like I'm watching the like, whoa. I can totally just imagine you doing that shit. Like I can just see you. It's like, it reminds me of like when the first time I saw the Injustice transition with you and you're like, oh, you're just gonna bounce off this shit? Yeah, like, right? fucking, like Looney Tunes ass shit? I was like, oh man. So it but, reminds uh, me of like the tumble state in Rev Two, where you just like start rolling, and you're like, oh god, he's dead. That's definitely what it is. And like, you but not, it's in the air. Yeah, yeah. I was about to it's say, a Looney Tunes ass shit. Like, you just. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah, I love that shit. They're like fucking. Oh, I feel like cliffhanger. Oh, cliffhanger. Anyway. Oh man. But yeah, like uh, those, all those aspects feel very, very guilty gearish, at least mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. Um, I can't speak for anybody else, but at least to me. I talked to like a lot of people about it though. And like it seems overall, it seems like generally after people play the game, a lot of their worries went away, but you still have like there's still things that need to be addressed, right? Like, yeah. The the no the the no gatlings is a, a big thing. Uh the no jump cancels, but I feel like that might be like a system thing. Mm -hmm. Um and I just feel like What do you think about air blocking? Like uh, that's a that's another thing now uh that's another thing that's one that really worries me 
it's like the feeling of I knocked you down in the corner, run up, I know you're gonna jump six p. Like that feels so good. And imagining someone just air blocked my six p, I'm like, right? It just mm, it don't oh, fit well. I see. Yeah. Like I'm like ah oh, well sure, but like to to me in my head, right? Obviously, I haven't played the game. That seems like one where I'm like hmm, that'd be a little weird. What do you think about everything being air blockable? I think so. I feel like um, I'm gonna tell you guys a story. I was playing, I was up at an NCR maybe three, four, five years ago. I can't remember. I'm getting old. But Combo Fiend was there. Mm -hmm. And Combo Fiend was playing, uh, I think, Julian, uh, the beautiful dude, in yeah. a tournament. And he got it hit by like an air specialist and shit. And he's like, why did I get hit by that? This is years ago. Yeah. I said, you're supposed to faultless that. He's like, why do I need to faultless that in the air? And when I when I saw, he like didn't know you had to use faultless to block stuff. He didn't he didn't know he didn't know that in the air that's what you had to do. So like once I heard people complain about that, hmm. I said look at the fact that like Combo Fiend is one of the best players of all time in my opinion, and I really don't care about your opinion on it. But it's just the fact that like there are things that like are super complicated that might miss sure. a general person. And Combo Fiend played multiple games at a very high level. So like if he didn't know this, I feel like that's something easy that can go on or under the rug, sure. right? So if you're making a later version of the game, I yeah. feel like I'm not gonna say it's intuitive because personally I still miss it. But for the general populace just coming into the world of Guilty Gear, I understand. Yes, it's just weird to me to imagine playing any fighting game where I can just like like Gears, I guess particularly where I can just jump at someone and not get anti-aired. Yeah, no. What? Like, it just seems so str Like, you have to air throw me, otherwise I can just jump at you. And I know that air blocking will add risk, right? And that's, like, the big way that they're trying to make it. Like, oh, you can't just jump at someone over and over and over. But, like, in my head, it just seems so weird. Because Faultless is a mechanic in this yep. game. It used to be, like, you think about it in the last game, it covered, like, 15 things. Mm -hmm. And in this game, they're like, Faultless does three things, yeah, right? Like, it's yeah. like, we want it to be three things. And it's weird to me to imagine that Faultless is like a mechanic based around chip damage and pushing you away from people. And it doesn't stop you from being chipped out because there's yeah, just no, no chip kills. No chip and it doesn't stop you from air blocking or like, you know, defending anything in the air at all. Like the only thing it does is prevent you from taking risk. Mm -hmm. That to me seems like such a weird way to change how Faultless like works. And that's one of the changes that I'm still, even after watching it, I'm like, but what if I could anti-air you? There is like a theory from a lot of people that uh, there was like an interview quote from one of the developers or something that was like along the lines of, oh, in the future, there might be buttons that are anti-air buttons where like these specific buttons can't be air blocked. So like a 6P or something, right? So that makes sense. I, yeah. I, didn't, hear, I didn't even hear that. But yeah. That to me, if that's one of the things they want to do, that makes sense to me. It's just the problem with like design choices like that to me is like, what if you're a character, like what if you're Leo and your 6P, your anti-air sucks? And you're like, well, now I don't have an answer here. That's good because my 6P is bad. Like, or what if it turns out that some character's 6P is way better than you expected? It's yeah. like good at anti-airing, it's upper body invincible, it beats this, it's super fast, like it leads to a full combo. Like the, you have to very specifically balance around that one move. So another thing that happened, this is another thing that we noticed. Like I was talking to like some of the players and they was like, yeah, I don't know what to do because we came into the situation about throws and baiting throws yeah. and the, the jump situation, right? Yeah. So one of the things that happened was you can do like this knockdown, run up, and like if you think that they're gonna jump on wake up, you literally, and you're gonna know exactly what this sound like. You whiff throw, mm -hmm. they're in the air, yeah. soul specifically, you do 2H, DP. Yep. Right? So like now I'm like, oh, and I figured this out because they changed this his 2H now. Yeah. His 2H is literally it like It goes like straight up. It's yeah. literally like a fucking crouching fierce in fucking Street Fighter. So I was like, oh. Yeah. I see. And the same thing goes for Kai's fucking 2H as well. Like yeah. you see a bunch of people, but they're not getting anti-aired by it. So I'm think I'm thinking this is theory, by the way, so don't take this to the bank, is that like I feel like everything um from what we know about the gameplay so far, we're guilty gear, guilty gear, guilty gear, knocked down. Shit, I'm trying to jump out. That's a very Street Fighter-esque situation. Even in the corner, because then you can RC and get more hits. But yeah. like a lot of times, I feel like the best guess, unless you get back 
a flash kick uh, character. Yeah. Um, or, and, and keep in mind, uh, Axel didn't have Bomber on the ground during this build. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't even wake up and like typically get out of stuff like yeah. that. But you still have like DPs and stuff there. So I feel like it, it goes more to like an archetype thing of how they want these characters to play. And maybe they just left it out to see how people would adjust right now. Yeah. But it, you're 100% right. Like, that situation feels super, super weird. Yeah. And it's, I, like I said, I, I say weird, but I'm going to say foreign for me. Because, foreign, yeah, for sure. Um, I'm not used to dealing with those situations in a game like Guilty Gear that's super fast, especially when I'm like, I'm in a familiar situation. I was like, well, typically, I'm going to make you hold this shit because I'm probably yeah. going to put an H on top of you or some shit like that. Yeah. 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 And they no. just jump. You're like, yeah, excuse me? They're <laughs> like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, sir? Yeah, sir. I got sir? something for you. What about this? It's oh, an ass shit, beating. Oh, it. Oh, my <laughs> God. Uh, what the? You know? Yeah. You're like, fuck, man. Uh, yeah, that is something that I think about a lot. The anti-air situation seems weird. You know what's funny about Axel is like, I think a lot of people were like, man, you could air block in this game, Axel's gonna be bad. And on my stream, I was like, nah, bro, I bet you Axel's mad good. Bro, Axel every time sick. you jump, he's like, wrist cage, wrist cage, And he has gauge. like new moves. They gave him back old moves from the old, and that was another thing, like, the Kai flip kick move, yeah. that's a move from like OG Guilty Gear. He had that move then, and we didn't, I didn't even notice it until I went back and looked at old footage. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay, but speaking of older moves, it's the same thing. Axel has moves that he had from Reload. He had like a big clock thing that he used to do where he would jump up and make a circle around him, what right? He used, he used to do it, and it used to be FR Seeable. Completely took that out in the newer versions of Guilty Gear but he has it back. Oh, okay. Um, he also has like a kind of a weight move that he used to do where he would take the, the sickle and like go up in there and come back down. Yeah. Completely remove it and exit. I'm pretty sure it's back now and it just looks completely different. He also has new moves to control the range. So you know how he has rinsing and throws yeah. off the ground? He actually has a full screen explosion now that if you just hit slash, it'll blow up off screen. I see. So he has three outputs to it now. He can do one up, yeah. one spin, spin down, yeah. one explosion. And I, see. I think he has one that he sends under the ground now that's like the catch throw thing. Ah, oh, where he does the lariat, yeah. Right? I've seen that too. Um, so I think it's just one of those things where it's like, uh, it's an archetype thing. They're trying to, I think they're setting like the pace with like these archetype characters and being like, well, this is how these kinds of characters are play, these, how these kinds of characters are gonna play. But there's still so many holes when yeah. it comes to, like I said, like the faultless defense thing, the chip out thing. I'm pretty sure the chip out thing is a demo thing. Don't quote me on that either. But like, I feel like it'd be crazy if you have a mechanic like faultless in the game. And no chip out. And no chip kill. You, you essentially remove not the complete usage of faultless, but the fact is I think it's more of like people are afraid of like pressure yeah. and Guilty Gear is a game known for pressure. So we're going to maximize the pushback and take away the chip. Sounds like a reasonable thing to do if you're foreign to it. So. Yeah, that is one thing that I was thinking about too. I was like, man, it just, it sounds fine if it wasn't Guilty Gear. That's yeah. there, there's yeah. so many changes in the game that I'm like, that'd be fine if it wasn't Guilty Gear. So it's 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 in my brain whether I need to hold on to that or if I just need to accept what the this version of the game is and just try it. You know what I mean? I like so I've legit like like you know I don't like interact a lot like on like Twitter and shit like that, yeah. but I'm always reading right. So it's like I'm looking at people saying like, oh man, this is a guilty gear. This yeah, is that I and saw the other. Say that. Like I, I don't one like I am a firm believer in like faith in the people who make the game. And I know it sucks. I know I'm stupid in that aspect. But I feel that like Dice Gate wouldn't put a game out that he didn't feel like was like a complete project of something that he wanted to do. Sure. Um, and when I played the game, a lot of my fears was put to rest. Not all of them. But a lot of my fears are put to rest. At least I know that goddamn UI ain't like there to stay because that shit just looks Looney Tunes. That yeah, it definitely right. looks Looney Tunes mobile fucking. It looks like an iOS update or something. Yeah. What did you think about the health bar moving when you were playing? I didn't really mind. The thing that bothered me the most was the wrist gauge not being visible. It's really hard to see, right? It's fucking like, I, is the wrist gauge even there? Is it? There? And it's like such an important part. Like this it's game, they're like, super important. They're like, we want the wrist gauge to be everything. And you're like, all right, sick. That's got to be the most visible shit on the screen right there like but what if it was the opposite right what if we made wrist the hardest thing to see by far and you're like but why and you're like strive right like, what the fuck <laughs> the fuck did you just do and in an interview yeah Daisuke said in an interview well we don't want casuals to worry too much about wrist gauge so we wanted it to be l hidden and I was like that's the motherfucker what you that's not <laughs> you don't want to do no 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 you it don't was so funny I was like Daisuke please like come on man give me the <laughs> what are you doing I mean I play Leo he's all about cranking that guard yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. still like think about that that doesn't really help 
the masses to no. Yeah. No, no. You just the thing is that like Street Fighter has a stun gauge on the street on the screen, right? Like many games have guard gauges on the screen. Just put put the guard gauge there. Mm -hmm. They won't know what it means, but they'll know what the health bar means, and that's all that matters, right? I mean, like, think about. I think the the health gauge is like a, definitely one of those things. Like Street Fighter, what didn't even add it to Street Fighter Alpha. I can't remember. Yeah, it, it wasn't even added. To Street Fighter, to Street the stun, Fighter Alpha, the stun right? bar or, yeah. or the guard gauge. Yeah. So it's like those things are definitely like an evolution thing. Even still, though, like Guilty Gear has always been a part of like the risk. Like that's a big part of that game. And I feel now like the game does a good job of making that the thing because shit rattles yeah. when you're playing. It's literally like in, I'm in a car. I'm playing like Guilty Gear Strive and I feel like I'm in a pickup truck listening to like Molly Crew or some shit. Like it's going it's like. You mean like <laughs> when I drive you out of here? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Exactly. That's exactly like that. I feel like I'm in an esports mobile. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, esports mobile. Yeah, you're just like, oh, fucking let's go. Right. And then it's just like one, some crazy shit hits and you're like, this is about to be it. <laughs> it's like I'm going to what is that behind us? It's a dinosaur. This is sick. Like yeah. that's what you want, right? Yeah. Um, but no, uh, I will say that like I do think it's. I can't wait. I can't wait to touch the game again. Like I legit will go to Frosty's. Yeah, I was gonna I say see. because Frosty's is coming up and it has a new build of the game, right? So that's the big question. Is like you know this build is gonna be okay, everybody chill, yeah. right? Like it's gonna be like the all right, everybody chill build. So I really want to see what they do in that version. Well, now that they say that it's late 2020, uh, I'm super curious. I think that like we're there's no way we get this game like outside of December and then it gets pushed back to January or some shit like that. That's just the way that I'm thinking about it. I think that there's, I don't think, and I've been wrong because I said the same thing. I saw Mortal Kombat 10 and they showed the trailer. I'm like, there's no way that game's going to be out when they said it is. And boom, that shit came out. I was like, well, let me shut the fuck up. I, I have a theory, an anime theory. I haven't looked into the future, but whenever it was announced in November, it's going to come out like the exact same time next year. Really? It's going to be some shit like that where they like announce it like directly on like the next time. I think it'll probably be like a November, or October, November. I would be happy, but I would definitely love a November release because that'd be the end of everything, right? Yeah. Like it'd be the end of like the quote unquote like the finals. You still got stuff coming up like Capcom. It's like right now, right? Like I, I ain't doing shit for the next two weeks or whatever, right? It's like the the CBT and TWT finals are coming up soon, so it's like all right, this is like the end of everything. Evo's over with, everything's done. It comes out, and if it comes out in that time, then it's like a perfect title to yeah. have at Evo Japan, right? Yeah, that's so true. So it's like, all right, shit, cool. You know, Evo Japan Guilty Gear is gonna have five thousand million entrants, right? <laughs> So that would be tight. <laughs> no, that would actually be smart. That would, now that I'm thinking about it, that would be like super smart. They drop it and you're like, come to Evo Japan, play new Guilty Gear Strive. I think that'll like blow the numbers all the way up. I hope that's what you guys are doing. I really hope that's what you guys are doing. Oh, man. No, but like I said, man, I'm like... I'm not afraid at all. Like, I wasn't afraid at first, but like this. <laughs> I like how fear is the barometer. That's, that is. That's the, the first one is like, oh, shit, Guilty Gear. No. Like, no. It's like you watch it all might down yeah. in the park. You're like, like, no, no. Guilty Gear, no. Like, no. it's like, yeah, it's like, fuck it. pointing at you. Right? Like, you're next, you know? Um, yeah. But no. Uh, I actually, I really enjoyed it. Um, and I'm only speaking from me. Uh, I did like what I played so far. I didn't like the shit that I didn't like, obviously, which is the jumping and the, the no jump cancelables and no air combos, the change Gatlings, uh, that ugly yeah. ass UI. Oh man, that uh, shit's gross. Like, there's a bunch of shit in there that needs to be worked on, but luckily it's a demo. We got plenty of time before the game comes out. I still have fun. Play that shit if you get the chance. Don't be dumb and keep talking shit if you ain't played the game. Please yeah. don't. Because I'm not going to listen. I'm, I swear to God, if you're like, well, I just looked at it. I'm like, well, I'm not listening to you. How about that? How about that? <laughs> right in back that at voice. him. Yeah. In that well, voice. I just... All right, look, Steve. Yeah, right. You fucking tell him. Tell him he's an idiot. Like, that's all there right. is to it. Just... That's the thing for me is, like, I haven't tried it, so I can't, I can't say one way or another. I feel like it's one of those games that I need to get the feeling. You know yeah. what I mean? I, you have touch to get it. the... Touch it. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard not to... It's hard to know one way or another, especially because the next build will probably be very different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm used to... Like, I've seen all these... I've played... I remember being in college and watching, I believe it was the Slash videos released from Japan. Yeah. And I legit was downloading them on the computer in college because I didn't have a computer of my own. I was like, I didn't download this. And I'm like, what the hell? They took this, I literally wrote like, they took this away from this character? What the hell are they doing? And I'm like, oh, okay. That's, yeah, it's fine. Turns out it's not that bad. It's fine. It's really not that bad. So I feel it's the same thing I'm getting from this. Go play the goddamn game. And then we'll, then I'll see you at the water cooler. And then we'll talk. Yeah, that seems fair to me. Your genuine enthusiasm for everything in the world does not surprise me whatsoever. 
wasn't perfect. It was just nowhere near. It, it wasn't. Yeah, there's 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 some shit. Right? Like but, people had me thinking like, yo man, it's fucking Freddy Krueger with the mask of Jason and the machete of fucking Michael Myers. It is the worst. It's gonna kill you and Freddy Krueger. Did you not there. like Freddy vs. Jason? Is that I love that movie. I saw that shit in theaters with my dad. Fucking That's- that's like the best Jason movie. Let's be honest. Hey, I'm just saying that There's shit was not that sick. Many good ones. Fucking Freddy Krueger knew like kung fu. Yeah, he that did. That shit was crazy. He was flipping over his back. And I kick- forgot about that yeah, shit. Yeah, I remember that shit explicitly. He it's was kicking the shit. He was blocking the shit. What do you think you did? It was the funniest shit ever because he was like, "What do you think you're doing?" In the Freddy Krueger yeah. voice, but doing some karate shit. I'm like, I, I how come none of these kids did this in the dreams, man? Yeah, that's a good point. I feel like if you were if you were a video game player and you went to the dreams, you would fuck that guy up. Bro, it's the same thing. Look, I'm a tell you right you know this it's like the matrix it's the, it's the exact same thing you can't be like yo steve we're actually in a simulation where we got super oh word kage oh we're out of here let's go i would have flew away i literally would have flew steve you can jump over to this building you know what i'm saying could I lift the bill there? Like, I was like, you know, like. Yeah, like, Neo's an idiot. He was like, can you make the jump? It's like, can I make the jump? I can fly. He just fucking fly. I literally would have levitated. A, man, I would have started throwing beans out of my hands. I would have became a super villain. These people, fuck these robots, and fuck you. <laughs> what you have you know? <laughs> been a super villain? Instantly. I mean, for, look, for the people that are in the Matrix, Neo is definitely a villain. Yeah. He's responsible he's like a for the de- yeah. he's responsible for the deaths of all your family members because Agent Smith comes and gets beaten up and then killed by Neo. You're like, yo, fuck that Neo guy. But he's trying to liberate y'all bitch asses. You need to be thankful. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. You're not done. I watched JoJo's. Yes. Uh, yes. I watched JoJo's. You know I knew you watched JoJo's. You know how I knew? Because your beard got thicker. I was like, say, say, something's different about you, Say Jeff. <laughs> you something's mean? different. I don't know, man. I just feel like it does that. It's like, it, you going to tell me right now some of the shit that happened, you just like, well, you just got to be fucking crazy. You going to tell me that's not like... No, that's the whole fucking show. Everything <laughs> they did, I was like, this is not okay. You guys are really going to be in some trouble. And he's like, hum on. And he's yeah. fucking... Hum on. And, and I was like, like let's go. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. So I only watched part one and part two. Uh-huh. So everybody warned me before it started. I think even you, everybody was like, look, part one, it's a little slow. It's true. It's everybody true. was like, it's a little slow. I fucking loved part one. I thought it was so good. Mm. I'm on like mm. team part one is great. I'm a big Jonathan fan because part one is literally like castle crawl, Dra- let's go kill Dracula. Yeah. Like me and the crew, yeah. it's literally, I just imagine them in a JRPG like dun, 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 like walking up, yeah. they're like, oh, vampire. Yeah. And then they like fight him and shit. Like, that's what I imagine. I was like, okay, well, they got to go to the next room in the castle. Gain an ally, yeah. lose an ally. That's true. Kill that's a bad guy, new bad guy. Like, so it was, you were okay with the sacrifices being made. It's, we're on, going to the top. You know going to happen, right? We're going like, to the top. I was like, we got to get to the Dracula. Like <laughs> Before y'all get in, look. All of us aren't gonna make it. Yeah. And I'm the hero of the story. So, so yo, I'm my fine, but y'all motherfuckers. You guys fight it out. One of you guys may come back as a turtle. Who knows? But until then, I'm gonna make it. One of you guys might speed not. Speedwagon, you're making it. You're with me. <laughs> Speedwagon on my We're gonna break in the group. Yeah. Speedwagon, you got my back. <laughs> you guys on the other side. Oh! Zeppelin's like, bro, what do you mean? <laughs> Why the fuck is Speedwagon with you? And you're like, my bad, Baron. You tip your hat and you're like, here we go. <laughs> we out this bitch. Let's go. I mean, but like, See, now I have, like, me personally, like, I like to take in the fact that, like, each part has its own purpose. Yeah. And if part one definitely sets the stage for not, like, only, like, the next part, but the entire series. Yeah, yeah. It do- and it, it is, it'll be different if it didn't do it well, but, like, well, in my opinion, if yeah. it didn't do it well, but, like, it does it fucking great. I like, fucking loved Jonathan, by the way. Everybody loves Jonathan. He is, so, he is so chivalrous, and he's so Japanese, it's crazy. This motherfucker's like, I hate Dio. I can't fucking stand him, but every day of my life, I'll hang around him and deal with it. I was like, what are you? This is the most Japanese shit I've ever heard in my life. What do you mean you despise this man more than life That's why the story is so good, because that shit resonates with the populace. People know you gotta put up with this shit. Yeah, like, fucking you know deal what? with this motherfucker. Dude, kick my, my dog fucking piece of shit. It took one episode, and I was like, Dio's the worst person to ever exist. Yeah, he's actually... And then uh, it kept going. He's actually just a shitbag of a person. Yeah. Like, he's actually that guy. You yeah. fuck that dude, man. Yeah. So he's then, not even real, but fuck that dude. So then, like, obviously, the fighting's tight. Energy style, I'm all about it. I'm with it. Everything's cool. Fucking part one. Jonathan, everything's fantastic, right? I finished part one. I was like, 
Man, everybody says part one is kind of slow. I fucking love it. Yeah. It's not even uh-huh. that long. It's nine episodes. I was like, it's not slow. Like, nine episodes is nothing. Like, I was like, no problem, right? Dio's a real shit bag. But everything about part one besides that was great. Part two started. And I was like, fuck you, Jonathan. You suck. Joseph is so much better. It I already knew fu- it. It took five seconds. And I was like, man, Jonathan is whack. He's a fucking wiener. He's a square. I was like, this guy, Joseph, is so much better. That's what they do. That's what they do. They This easy shift. You look at yeah. it. Man, this dude is actually fucking ridiculous. Yeah. No, I love Jonathan. I think Jonathan is awesome. Joseph is like... You can see parts of Jonathan in him, too. That's, That's the, the best, best part. part right? That's the best part about it. You can see the shades of the character generationally, right? Yeah. Like, the thing is, is like we watch a shit ton of animes where it's like, a lot of times it's in this confined universe and yeah. sometimes they get older, sometimes they don't. There's the but, young arc, the old arc, the show's over. See, that, that's not the way it works in JoJo. JoJo is just like, there's a moment in these characters' lives that will define the rest of eternity. Yeah. And that's what you're watching. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit about anything else. You want to get right to the meat, right to the gristle yeah. of the matter. And yeah. every time is the JoJo storyline. It's like, man, I used to fucking bake cookies and shit. I owned a fucking pet shop. I was a fucking veterinarian. And I was an oncologist on the side. This motherfucking deal come back. Fuck all of this. It's destroyed. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go. get that motherfucker. Hold we on. We gotta stop this motherfucker right now. They just throw everything. <laughs> Fuck up deal. Yeah. The other thing is, there's two things. One, okay, so Joseph is sick. And I love everything about him. And you can see a lot of Jonathan in him. And I think the... The way he plans and everything, oh, but you thought that shit is bitch, so good. Bitch, you thought you was guessing. You thought that I <laughs> thought. Yeah, like, it's so fucking bitch. <laughs> bitch, you thought. I love, that's the best thing about JoJo. Yeah. It's bitch, you thought the anime. Like, yeah. yeah, man. Bitch, you thought. What is that? A car from in the river. Yeah, nigga, you thought wrong. Got your dumb ass. That's exact. I love that and then, shit. And then the bad guy's like, but I saw through your plan. He's like, the next thing you're going to say is, and I was like, this is so fucking unnecessary. You thought the, you thought the car was the end? Here comes a boat from the sky. Like, that doesn't even uh, make sense. He's like, why is there a boat from the sky? Well, when I lit my scarf on fire, the boat from the sky. I'm like, no. That doesn't make it any actually sense. It actually said, this is what happens. Why is it a boat in the sky? It actually signaled a helicarrier that was, was a helicarrier. A giant airplane that was carrying fucking boats. Dropped it because it saw the flame from my sash. Thought it was a signal where it was supposed to be landing. Boom, there it is. And it was all a distraction the whole time. And the guy's just like, ah. And he's like, fucking Joseph. And he's just like, <laughs> fucking Joseph. Joseph. And he's just dying on the floor. And I'm just like, that was genius. Like, I, I totally bought in. That's what I said. I, I totally like, bought in. These like, motherfuckers. Bro, I'm telling you right now. Genius. Steven, it gets so much. De- when I, t- it was, yo, I'm going to tell you, it's been two times. Two times in my life. I have paused something while watching it. I had to. It was. It was the old, not the last Rambo movie, but the Rambo movie before that. They chucked the baby in the fire. I was not prepared for it. I had to pause it. Had to take a step that's back. Fair, that's that fair. shit's kind of crazy. But there are parts in JoJo's where I legitimately had this. I was like, what in the fuck? Like, what? Like, you're that guy. Like, I had to go call people. It was literally that good. You're on the path to greatness, right? I'm going to see you, and you're going to look like the dude in the meme when he turned around and he's like, you're gonna have the full, yeah, the full beard. beard. I'm gonna yeah, have the I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna have I'm the silver hair. Man. You're, gonna, you're gonna have the gray streak right here. You're gonna come out one of the best. What's up, Steve? I'm like, oh, what the fuck is going on, <laughs> the man? What the fuck happened to you? Why you got a headband on? Why you have Caesar's headband on? I'm like, you don't understand you what don't he even did. You know, it just fucking happened. I was living the good life, Steve. Bomber I was, streaming, was right there. Drinking coffee, and then boom. These motherfucker Dio, he came for the dogs. I had to take him out. Like, that's what happens. That's how the anime story begins. Yes. Wamu, the, the whole sequence with Wamu was so tight. It was like, I, there was like a manly warrior tear that I shed on the battlefield with them. I was like, I'm with you, but I understand. And then Cars showed up and I was like, let's we see what Cars got. Let's see what he's gonna bring to the table. And I was like, all right, Lisa, Lisa, oh, you got a good ass like, whoop And I was like, this guy's a fucking piece of shit. And then I was like, genius. And I was like, let me see where this goes from here. I was like, hold up, let me see what he's got planned. And Bro, then the, rope, do it. the rope trick happened and I was like, even better. I was like, let's see what Cars is Take me got. deeper into the hole. I was like, Cars is so smart. How did he think of this? Of course he's not honorable. That was Wamu's job. Right? Like, 
You knew, you should have known. When I saw his hair, I was like, no, no, no. No one hides hair like that unless they're up to no good, Look, right? The, the presentation of even like, people always don't, that like they always, I have like a shirt. I have a shirt now that I got from the homie of Rev Major, my boy Kenny Rev Major. And it's just a woo, like the JoJo sound. People don't get it until they watch JoJo. They're like, yo, that's a sick ass shirt because they know that's fucking ominous. Steve. Ominicity, is that a word? Is that, is that a word? Steve. Ominicity. The Pillarman theme is fucking unbelievably I good. legit. I, the first thing I thought when I heard it was, man, Steve probably loves Bro, it. Bro, I legit strut to that shit. I feel, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling like, you right, that shit hits me in every cell of my body. It is... Look, if you listen to the Pillar Man theme and you don't get hype, I'm sorry, bro. You might you might be a zombie. I might have to take you out. I'm just saying, man. Dude, when it came on with each and every Pillar Man fight, I was like, it is so good. The way they strut and shit, I was like, oh my God. Bro, the poses, like, that was the first time. I was like, They started yo. doing the poses for real like, in part two, yeah. Oh, Jesus. I was like, wait a minute. Part one wasn't. This is amazing. It wasn't as crazy with the poses. Part two, it's starting to get there. I can start to see some of the poses come out. I'm like, mm, okay, I recognize some of these. I was ready for it. Like, I was like, okay. And I'm about to start part three. I haven't started it yet. Everybody says Stardust Crusaders is mad good. What's your favorite part? Stardust Crusaders. Okay, so and, part three. And, but in, in my defense, I have not read, like, anything past, like, part six or something like that. Yeah. And apparently it gets even crazier. But okay. for me, like, it's Jotaro, man. Like, yeah. he's, like, he's too good. Like, that character does so much. I, mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but... After this, I'm going to talk to you about it, and I get once you see it, you'll know why. Yeah. You, I guarantee you, and like that's why Steve likes this character. Yeah, I'm he, probably. Oh not. my god, he's so sick. That dude is fucking godlike. Because for me, Joseph is such a great JoJo, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, he's no. so good. He's right up my alley. But then I'm like, man, I love Jonathan. Too. I was like, he's such a good JoJo too. I was like, mm, all right, well, let's see what Joe Taro is bringing to the table. And the ending of part two is when. Joseph's like in the airport and he yep. runs with that Japanese dude and he punches him and is like, my daughter is dating this Japanese man. I was like, we're getting a Japanese Jojo. I was like, oh shit. And then his name is Jotaro. I'm like, this motherfucker is about to be, I was like, it's about to be crazy. Cause you know, they have to make the Japanese Jojo super sick. Bro. I was like, they're going to step it up like crazy. Would I tell you that it literally like, if I had questions before that part, they were all done. I am so committed. I have multiple art books. Multiple. I know. Like You know what's funny is I was with you in Japan when you went and bought the art book. I don't remember which one. It was like a big art book. Like yeah, this, I was with this one. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you, you bought like an art book. It was like a, an expensive art book. It, it was, was like big as fuck. It was that big and yeah. it didn't make that We were retro money. game shopping and it was in one of the places. And you remember you were like showing me some of the stuff from it. And I was like, this shit is crazy. Everybody like... When I tell you, like, Kugi was came over to my place and he was like, we were talking about anime and JoJo's and shit, and he was just like, bro, Steve, let me see your art books. They're like, you might spoil yourself. Because, like, it, like, they're generational art yeah. books. And, like, they show you everything. But they're so... Be I think I got, like, five JoJo's books now. Jesus. And I'm definitely trying to get more. So if you guys know any sick recommendations yeah. for art books, pass them along to you, boy. Pur purple hiss! I, I need to catch up all the way. I can already tell that, like part three, somebody said is like 40 episodes long or 48. And they're like, I'm warning you, it's really long. I was like, 48, are you a fucking coward? I was like, come on, man, I'll handle this. If you if you like the the them going to the castle. Oh yeah, that's you're, you're actually going Bro, to Bro, it's literally it. like, so part one is like a dungeon crawl to kill Dracula. Part two is a boss rush. They're like, all right, we got to kill these bosses. Boom, boom, boom. Right? I was like, it's a boss rush. I was like, I recognize what this shit is. No problem. And both of the times, I was like, there goes Caesar. I was like, there he goes. The bubble. How do you make bubbles cool? Right? Now, how do you make bubbles cool? My head, dude had on the T-Pain head. He was ready for action, That's bro. what I'm saying. I saw him with like the headband and the bubbles. I was like, Caesar. I don't know. And then at the end, I was like, Caesar. I was like, yeah. I was like, no. No. You, was, look, oh, that's man. part of the... The sacrifice, dude, so you know how in anime, Man. like, people die, right? Like, I'm yeah. not gonna, you know, people die. But when, in JoJo's, it feels, god damn it. You, look, yo, guys, make sure y'all remind him to watch part three. I'm we watching need, it. We need to get Sejam up to date so we can have these talks. I'll probably start it before this weekend. And so should I watch part three and then... Come to you with discussion, or should I watch three and four? No, is it no, just part three no, is enough? no, no. You watch part three, and then you come because that's my favorite. I mean, I want the okay. input, right? I need, I want to know what you think. 
part four, I know once you get there, like that's when you're gonna get the, the refined taste. You're like, now. Mm, okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna be like. Mm, yes, Paul oh, said yes. Steel ball run, yeah. my good man. And okay. I'm like, damn, you know what, say damn, you might be in there, you know? I thought my beard is hitting the floor and shit. I show up, it's gonna be, I'm looking like old Joseph. It's gonna be quite, I'm telling I'm you. I'm telling you, right, you're gonna have a silver streak, you're gonna look like a completely different person. I'm ready for it. What else are we gonna talk about? What else oh was there God. to talk about? Beard longer than Ares. No, that's that's definitely true. That's definitely oh, true. Oh, did you watch all of Demon Slayer? I watched all of fucking Demon Slayer. And on top of that, I even put, I put other people on Demon Slayer, right? I ain't gonna say I put them on Demon Slayer. But I, I was talking to Kami, Slayer, right? Yeah. I was talking to Kami and I was like, bro, you need to watch Demon Slayer. But every week the episodes were so good. Okay. And he was like, I'm just waiting. So you know there's like, I don't remember what episode it is. It's like 18 or 19 where he has that fight, right? With the lower moon mm -hmm. and like he does all the sick fire shit that he gets from his dad and everything. Everybody says, hey, before that, it's okay. But once you hit episode 19 or whatever it is, it's broken, right? That's what they said. But I was bought in way before oh, episode I was 19. I was bought in at like episode three. Once, I was like, this I, shit is sick. At episode like three, once the like the family got bodied, I was yeah. like, oh shit, oh how? The, oh, they trying to hit me in the fields. But I'm gonna tell you right now. Every time the family get wiped out, I know my dude is about that life. Oh, I yeah. know. I knew. What's his name? Uh, Tanjiro. Tan I knew Tanjiro was about that life the minute he was just like, no, man, I got it. He did the quivering. <laughs> I was like, oh, my dude in. My dude is actually going saw, to succeed the, no matter. The, the earrings and everything? I almost bought a jacket I with know. the logo on the back. I'm I was sure. this fucking close. But I feel like there's going to be cooler ones down the line. So I held my tongue. Yes. And then, I re dude, both of his companions, I know Zenitsu is a whiny little shithead, but he is so sick at the same time. The first time he does the Thunderblade and just, he's just holding it, I was like, this character is fucking worth he's the whining. He's actually the walking Bruce Lee quote. Like, Bruce Lee was like, yo, you don't fear the man who practices a thousand kicks a thousand times. You, pra you fear the man who practices one kick a, a thousand, thousand times. times. That's that man. When he hit the pole, he, I was like, oh my God. I literally had, I had to pause it. I was like, what, 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 what's happening? I thought like some Terminator shit was about to happen. Like he's about to turn into an older version of himself and be yeah. bumping shit. But no, he just hit you wrong with the, <laughs> oh. Huh. And, and if you don't like Inosuke, I don't know what to tell you. Look, look, I'm all about you. I'm about reckless running in and just fucking hitting people. That's how I get down. The fact that my man stabs you and asks questions later, I'm 100% okay. Dude, it's demons walking around. Like, yeah. what? you think I got time to care about how you feel with the, nah, bro. bro. I'm a, what's that, another one? I'm killing everything. The hand-to-hand -hand combat scene where he like bends through his legs and then his legs spring up and he's like fighting like a boar. I was like, this shit is so fucking sick. You know where that, that scene is taken from? No. Street Fighter 2, the anime Oh, you're talking movie. about the, the sit up part where he does like that comes I up like in the Vega? Street from I was like, oh, this is actually pretty sick. Bro, that animated movie is hella good. Dude, so I actually, I actually, when I was in the Philippines just recently, and uh, shout out to Armando, he took me out. Mm. Um, they actually have an OG Street Fighter 2 art in full statue form. I'm, I gotta post it now that Damn. I'm telling you guys about it. But they have, it just looks straight from the movie, and it looks absolutely ridiculous you were the first person who told me brian cranston brian cranston was in that he's movie. Long. i didn't i did not know that that shit actually blew my mind like i was completely unaware he's he like you want to fight me next i was like who the fuck i was like that sounds familiar i, like, I don't know who the fuck that is damn but you called it off the ear though i was like mm, i don't know <laughs> and then i remember looking at it and i was like who the fuck is that? i looked it up i was like i knew it was somebody but Dude. the thing is, is like i hadn't even watched breaking bad i was like that sounds like how that's exactly what i thought I was like that sounds i don't know man that sounds familiar. I want like but mad people in the chat are like, what? Like they had no idea. Bro, like that's a real fucking thing. When I tell you, like I want footage of him in the booth doing like I, wa I literally want to see that. I want to know. I want to know his knowledge of Fei Long. And I hate to be like the anime Hell game no. guy that's like, well, you know, I'm a, and, like I don't want to do that. But I'm just curious. Like I'm that dude. Like when I met the dude who played Daredevil, I mm. legit the first thing I asked him, I was like, so how up to you? Like, do you read a lot? But not like in an obnoxious way. Like, yeah. what do you know about yeah, but The yeah. difference is you're, you're, you're you. Right? So I it comes to... across in a way that's like a lot more happy than most fans. Right. 
Because most people are just going to walk up and be like, well, in uh, the episode that just happened and in the comic book series. 1842, like, he actually lost to Whistler. And I'm like, bro, let it go. I just yeah. like to know where people stand. You like grab his arm. You're like, oh, he actually cut off his left arm. And I see you still have yours. So <laughs> maybe you're really not taking the role seriously there, pal. I don't know. Oh, your eyes work? Oh, I can see you looking left and right. Uh-uh, no, nah, nah. bro. Actually, that eye's glass. You're not even supposed to be looking. But I'm going to tell you one thing, though. The dude who played Daredevil definitely just looks like he's blind. I don't know if he's playing the part that way. I swear, dude, somebody else has told me the exact same thing. What does that mean? Like, when you're in his face? And he does, like, like the him. eyes dart. Like, he's, his eyes are always dark. I'm not even, not, like, separately, but in the same notion. But he, he definitely, I thought, like, he plays it very well. I ain't going to say he plays it very well, but... He has the art, the eye darting thing. I'm what not if he's even actually joking. just blind. There's no way. If he might actually be the real Daredevil, if that's the case, because he was walking around free of a, a walking stick. Somebody guided him the whole night. I'm just being real. Damn, that's sick. <laughs> Charlie Cox, thank you for telling reminding me of his name. He's always in the role. I believe it. Oh, who is that guy that played that one character that Rip said was the worst on the airplane? Oh my God, it was a. Uh... Stephen Amell, the guy who plays Arrow. But, so what ends up happening, we're doing the Wizard World thing. You know yeah, we're on the airplane. Works. But before that, we went to, at Wizard World, they do like these crazy like comic things. You already know this. Yeah. And they were like, well, look, we got a showing of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Oh, that's right. Right? And I was like, man, that person was a bag of dicks. But like, I could definitely, I could definitely... At least see the second one for free. Sure, right? yeah. Casey for free. Jones is in it. You Casey know what I'm Jones, that's who it was. I yeah, I'm a Michael Bay, and I'm like, well, he likes to make stuff explode. I don't know how this is gonna work with the turtles, but fuck it, let's go. So I will say that movie was trash, but that last scene where they were making the techno drone, if you haven't seen it, you ain't missing shit. When they was making the techno drone, it was straight out of a video game. That was that good? That shit was like, I'm not, like, they were fighting and the pieces were zooming. I was like, okay. I mean, the turtles still look dumb as hell, yeah, yeah. but like the, 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 the the aesthetic of it was 100% that. So anyway, Stephen Amell yeah. plays Casey Jones, new Casey Jones in said movie. And I'm not going to lie, it was pretty bad. It was, yeah, sure. it was, it was pretty bad. I'm not going to say that's wholly based on the fact that it was Stephen Amell. It could have been the script. I'm thinking it was a script. The fact that it was Casey, that Casey Jones it was whack, right? So we're on the plane. This close. You're me. Mm -hmm. I'm Rip. And right here, actually we'll say right here. Right here. In arm's reach is Stephen Amell on yeah, the so plane. we're walking. So we're walking. And like Rip the whole time, he's like, man, I can't believe this guy played such a shitty Casey Jones. I was like, bro, like the movie overall kind of was just like, uh. It was just bad, man. <laughs> yeah, it's right? not just him. Um, but shout out to the dude, the Bebop and Rocksteady. Bebop and Rocksteady was actually like, if, if they made that movie super serious and left Bebop and Rocksteady the same, it would have made that movie so much better. I think Damn. Bebop and Rocksteady, outside of the techno drone scene, might have been the best part of the whole goddamn movie. Just what saying, the fuck? Just saying, oh, sure. just saying, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Seamus, Seamus, he was definitely playing Rocksteady. It yeah. was actually pretty crazy. But yeah, so we're on the plane, this close to this dude. Yeah, we're chilling. And we're walking, fucking, and I see like Rip, he's like, yo, Stephen Mills on the flight. I'm like, oh, we're, and this is before we got like all our flyer mouths. Yeah, so we're yeah. just walking to all the back the of the, the back. fucking plane. We're in road 35. Under the bathroom, yeah. fucking seat Dripping bees. on us and shit. Uh, bees on the, but uh, anyways, he walks by and he was just like, yo, Steve, tell him he sucks. I was like, I'm not about to tell him that he sucks, Rip. But he's like, shut the fuck up, man. You embarrass me. But you're me and I'm Rip. Yeah. And he's fucking right here. Right here. His eyeballs right here. I can see literally right here. Fuck it. Rip. I'm Rip. You're me. Yeah. He taps me. Fucking worst Casey Jones in the world. Regular volume. Didn't whisper it or nothing. Dude is literally right. This is his face. The camera is his face. He's right here. Fucking worst Casey Jones ever. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Like, it's fucking, he's right there. I, I legitimately, I just like fucking rip me out. <laughs> you elbowed him? I elbowed the shit. I'm like, I ain't like hurt him elbow, but I was like, yo, get the fuck out of like the push to get him out of there. Jesus. And he didn't even flinch though. He didn't even, he was just like. <laughs> he, was, he played it off so hard. As soon as you guys walked by, there was like a single tear fall out like, of this. But I love Casey Jones. Yeah, that shit was trash though. That shit was actually trash. Shout out to Rip for being a consistent dick all through 2019. Damn it. Just successfully. Yeah, man, Rip definitely. <laughs> Young B boy, I respect Rip now. You respect him being an asshole, huh? It was that Ooh. was. Boom! <laughs> boom! 
I was gonna see. He's got a podcast tonight. That reminds me. That definitely does revive. He does. If you guys, have a podcast if you guys tonight. aren't planning to, you should tune into the Boomcast tonight at 8 p.m. They're gonna have guests JDCR on there. I heard. Yeah, I don't no. know who else is on there with Ribbon JDCR. Maybe uh-huh. MYK or something. Uh, so tune into that tonight in case you guys want to uh, check it out. It should be pretty fun to listen to and everything. You got to bounce. Yeah, you got gotta work meetings and shit to do. I am fucking tired because I streamed and now we did this. So uh, where can people find you? So you can check me out uh, at Tasty underscore Steve. That will be my Twitter. Um, Twitch.tv slash Tasty underscore Steve. Uh, I will get back to that. I promise. I've just been traveling a lot. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it will be... Tasty underscore Steve, that's me as well. Come say what's up. And what I say all the time when I end streams or see people, always come to say hi to me. I like when people say hi to me. Just don't be a weird or, or, or rude about it. That's all I ask. Other than that, always come say what's up. Hey, are you going to stream more? I promise I will stream. I promise I will stream more. I swear to you, if I was at home for more than four days, I would definitely get at least one stream in there. But nigga be tired, man. I be coming. I be tired, bro. I'm just saying. I'm going to be real with you. I be tired, yeah. Okay, well, you can find me on the channel you're watching right now on my YouTube channel, which is Superman Say Jam. And this will probably go up on Spotify. It'll be up on the YouTube in case you missed it or anything already. Shout outs to Knowledge. I'll see you in the chat. What's good with it, bro, bro? Mm hmm. And, and the other thing that I was going to say is um, uh, he needs to stream more. I need to get my hands better so we can do yeah, the man. mix. So I need we to get a fucking. Play yeah. some games. I know, I know. As soon as these are good, Steve will come over. We'll sit on this couch. There'll be shit hung up on the wall. And we'll fucking play some games. Play some video games, baby. Some like Eunice, some Tekken, yes. Yes. some Guilty Gear Strive, yes. some yes. whatever the fuck sounds good. Oh. All right? Yeah. Uh. All right, I'll catch you guys around. Have a good one, everybody. And uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Yeah.